and if these activists are going to create chaos as Mr. Alok Kumar had stated uh, they have given their word that it will largely be peaceful protests uh, but uh, usually of course when a huge number of these uh, pro-Canada organizations come together we see some form of violence or the other especially against uh, restaurants and other uh, uh, eateries as well as uh, other uh, uh, areas that are kept open they will all face the brunt of these particular activists uh, as of now things very much calm petrol bunks are open uh, we understand that some educational institutions are open very very few those almost countable and uh, besides that malls theaters all remaining shut medical facilities will be available today round the clock uh, ambulances hospitals pharmacies will remain open Restaurants, uh, some of them, of course, have decided to shut down. Others are uh, going ahead and uh, keeping their shutters open. And besides that, milk supply also continuing unabated and public transport not being affected either. So it looks like the roads will continue to be busy. But uh, if, in fact, you have a holiday, if you're planning to go to your nearest mall, think again, it is going to remain shut till 6 p.m. And after that, also, we could be looking at possibly all uh, the theatres also opening up because as of now, most of them have shut down. Besides that, markets have remained open uh, to a large extent. Uh, there is a lot of confusion among the vendors on whether they should function today or not. Some of them have kept their shops open. Others have shut down their shops. Uh, but besides that, uh, police are present in these markets as well to ensure that uh, if there is even the smallest sign of uh, violence, the smallest side of protest they will shut down all the shops present there so if you do have a, a holiday it is probably better off for you to stay at home because there will be a lot of traffic on the roads and at the same time uh, wherever you plan to go be it a restaurant a mall or a theater they all could in fact uh, eventually be shut down which is why of course uh, this bond is largely effective and the police are ensuring that they do their duty, that nowhere, at no point, uh, will it seem like uh, there could be any sort of violence and with them not having an answer to the same. <laughs> And uh, also, of course, uh, we understand that a lot of people fearing this bond have gone ahead and ensured that they stock up on basic necessities. In fact, today uh, is a day when milk supply is not going to be affected. But people uh, were seen going ahead and stocking up on the same. Uh, usually, of course, if they buy one packet, they were seen buying a, a double of that to ensure that even if there are protests, there's no need for them to step out. What we have to keep in mind is that because there's been a bond, the milk prices have soared. But uh, despite that, people have made it clear that uh, uh, they will not stop uh, and that they will go ahead and uh, buy the necessary items to ensure that if in fact uh, uh, the band is effective if there are protests that take place later in the day they are prepared for the same and we'll slip into a short break at this point but do stay tuned we will continue bringing you the latest updates with regards to the bengaluru band on the other side Welcome back. Well, uh, we are tracking uh, uh, the updates with regards to the Bengaluru bond. What is the scene on the streets? Are people braving the bond? Are there any protests? Uh, what is closed and what is not? Well, uh, stay tuned because we will continue bringing you the latest uh, updates. As of now, here's what the response is like. Largely peaceful, of course, uh, no protests breaking out. It's a little too early for that, possibly. Malls are shut. Uh, malls are essentially shut till 6 p.m. Theatres also remain closed despite the fact that KFCC did announce just yesterday that uh, the bond will not be effective for them. However, theatres remain closed uh, in, uh, in fact, uh, expecting or anticipation of violence. Besides that, petrol bunks uh, are open as well. So all you people out there who are planning to step out, uh, if you want to, in fact, uh, fill up, 
uh, your gas tanks, you can make your way to your nearest petrol pump, all of that remains open. Uh, the streets uh, continue to uh, be filling up with people. This is uh, the usual busy time. Yes, it's not as busy as any other normal day, but with buses plying, with autos plying, uh, it looks like uh, that part of uh, is not affected, that part of Bengaluru, considering its transport, public transport and large, has not been affected. Besides that, educational institutions, most of them remaining shut, and in most cases, a lot of confusion with no sort of communication between uh, the people and uh, between the students as well as the management of the school and college and uh, of course uh, milk supply is present uh, hospitals are open medical services are there ambulances are flying today and uh, pharmacies also remain open uh, and besides that markets of course uh, some of them remaining shut others opening up the windows seem rather confused on whether in fact uh, they can afford to remain open or not uh, what you have to be expecting is that prices will soar today uh, like in the case of milk uh, we will see vegetable prices also soaring today keeping in mind that very few shops have been opened up and uh, well uh, in fact uh, we understand that a lot of restaurants have also shut down anticipating that they could be facing the ire of the activists if they remain open Well, uh, my colleague Arun joins us over the phone lines with more details. Uh, Arun, of course, uh, we know what is the scene with malls, with theatres, with restaurants. Uh, but there's a lot of speculation along the lines of these markets. Some of them remaining closed, others remaining open. The vendors rather confused on whether, in fact, they can function normally today. Um, Akshita, you have to bear two points in mind. One is that uh, most of these vendors happen to be daily wage earners, you know. Um, so if the um, if they uh, shut down their businesses, then that income will not accrue to them. That is one point. And the second point is that, uh, as you rightly pointed, there is a bit, a bit of a confusion. Um, so uh, it's a kind of a wait and watch kind of a situation. In fact, um, as far as KR market is concerned, remember KR market is perhaps the uh, most important and the biggest market as far as the city of Bengaluru is concerned. Now, there you are coming across a situation where um, vendors are uh, still uh, selling uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, it is um, being speculated that probably now, after 9, 30 or 10, the activists may come and ask them to stop their uh, uh, purchase and sale operations. So, uh, they are gearing up for that, but uh, there has been uh, some kind of a lukewarm response uh, to uh, the bump call from other markets across the city, be it the Basangudi market or even for the start of the Malaysia market. So you will have to wait and watch, but the point remains that uh, while they are uh, sympathetic to the cause and they believe that uh, uh, there, there should be some kind of measures taken to prevent this rising incidence of uh, atrocities against women in the city, uh, uh, the bond call given by the uh, protesters, particularly the pro-Canada activists, um, as you rightly pointed out, has not evoked that much of a, a concrete kind of a support. Uh, so uh, we will have to wait it out. Probably now um, things will only speed up from here because uh, as uh, the activists become active and they uh, go around um, are asking people to shut their uh, shop. There is a possibility that even KR market uh, activities will come to a standstill by noon, uh, Akshita. Right, Harun, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all those details. Uh, so, of course, vendors preferring to keep uh, their shops open, considering that this is how they go ahead and earn their wages, and even one day will affect their business to a large extent. So, most of them preferring to keep their shops open, and that too, going ahead and increasing the fare, stating that today is a bump and they are open. And uh, in all, it looks like the bond there is peaceful and we will continue bringing you the latest updates with regards to the Bengaluru bond. Is it largely effective or uh, has the bond call not been heard by all the Bengalurians?